Hey guys, it's Editor Dread here. I just wanted to preface this video by saying that I know I left the stream goals on from the last stream in the footage. Uh, it's really annoying, but I didn't want to throw the footage away and I just wanted to go ahead and make the episode anyway. Um, so sorry about that and I'll be sure to check the stream elements a little more thoroughly before I start recording next time. And hopefully you guys won't have to hear from me very often. <laughs> So enjoy the video. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Fortress Craft Evolved. I am Dreaded Entity. Now you guys might be wondering why I'm starting the episode off inside today. And that is because we are going to automate these little guys right here. But first, let me show you guys what I've been doing on this world. It won't take long, so take it away voiceover. So the first thing I did was fix my resin setup. I needed to put a storage hopper here instead of a logistics hopper. Then I tore down these lasers from when we were gathering coal a few episodes ago and filled in the hole and also researched the resin from before. Then I tore down all the turrets from up top because they really didn't do anything for attacks. Also got rid of these induction chargers while I was at it. And then I finally tore down this giant paste grinder thing that I built. I used up a crap load of storage hoppers. Okay, so that's what I've been doing um, in between the episodes. And yeah, we should probably get started. We're doing a lot of automation now. So I thought that maybe I should automate the manufacturing plants. Um, now, let's see. The reason I started inside is because we need to grab a couple of things off the belt to make those, uh, I think it's manufacturing, right? It's probably manufacturing. So, we need lightweight housings, gears, servo motors, copper wire. No problem. Uh, so here's copper wire, all right? Let's, um, let's see. I got to see outside where I should bring these things in. So I guess like that. Now this is going to destroy my room, I think. Oh, okay. That's odd. My room still works just fine. Um, all right. Kind of wasn't expecting that to happen, but whatever. So. Let's see, copper wire, server motors, iron gears, and lightweight machine housing. So, all right, we need to split these and take them off of the belt. So there's copper wire, there's the servo motors, uh, lightweight housings, and then the gears right there. Oh, there, it did detect. There's a problem in my room. All right, so the easiest way to do this, let me flip on my light. I'm just going to dig down two blocks, there we go, because that's how far down I'm going to go, and then I'll jump in this hole. I'm just going to jump in, and I'm just going to dig until I reach the next hole, perfect. There we go, we have reached the next hole, and there's the last hole. Alright, so all we got to do is just dig this out now. <laughs> this is the part that takes a little bit. There we go, okay. Now guys, I kind of thought, you know, this was going to be cool. We were going to be able to have the windows and you'd be able to see stuff underneath it. But due to the way that rooms work, I don't think that's going to be possible. All right, so let's close this back up and then this should be fine. Uh oh, not fine. Okay, that's... Oh, I did it. I did it. I'm in the negative space. Look at this. Look how weird this is. It doesn't know that I'm not in the room anymore. Okay. So let's get out of that. Oh no, this isn't good. So it seems like it lost... It lost its roomness. What about if I go into the next room over? Oh, it doesn't let me in. All right, well, let's repair the room then. Complaining still, or are we all good? I think we're all good. There we go, okay. That was odd. Odd, but still cool. 
Uh, oh, I think I dug too far. Okay. Let's fix those belts. Let's see, since we're already outside, we might as well do this out here. So let's see. I kind of had this idea that each automation was going to be in its own little room, but honestly, I don't... I think that would just waste the space that we have here. So I think just having another massive room on this side for automated things is probably fine enough. So that's what we're going to do, guys. All right, now, where should I put this? Let's set it down, I guess about there. And let's see how many we need of each thing. You know what? I'm gonna need to keep an eye on these inputs, so I guess I'm not gonna be able to do what I was thinking. So let's go ahead and get these inputs. Straighten them out. Okay. And then we'll just connect them up out here. There we go. Now you guys know what the last step is. We gotta put in our priority splitters. I guess that wasn't quite the last step, so now we need to make sure these items go back onto the bus. I was afraid that was going to happen. Okay. There we go. Okay, perfect. And let's see what we got here. Is it working? Ah, can't tell. See, that's what I was talking about. Okay, but it looks like it's working. Okay, so now what we need to do is take these inputs and put them in here. All right, so the only the gears take three, so we'll use a mini hopper for that. But for everything else, it looks like we're gonna have to use storage hoppers. Oh man, how am I gonna power this thing? I guess I could feed one belt under it. So there's one, two, three. The last input will go in there. We'll do output here. So that'll be remove only. Remove only. The gears. We'll do a mini hopper for gears. Okay. Now, let's see. How am I gonna get away with this? Wish that door would stop. <laughs> let's put a solar panel on top and. Go ahead and start this automation. Okay, so... Let's see. Guess we'll just start routing stuff. So let's take this one... over, because we want to dodge that hopper. I, I really don't want there to be a chance of stuff... uh... basically contaminating other belts. So... We'll do this one, and that'll go in the hopper that's going to be right there. Perfect. So then we'll take the we'll take the lightweight machine housings and route them down. Oh, can I actually use a? I think I can use a downslope conveyor here.
crafting. Yeah, probably not gonna need basic belts anymore. Oh no! Okay. There we go. Ooh, it works, guys. Awesome. Oh no, this is gonna output, possibly. There's no way to do that, is there? Because... Oh man, that's not good. So basically what's going on here is this machine's gonna jam up. <laughs> that's... That's how simple that is. But let's see how far we can go with it. Um, now that I think about it, we don't really need a storage hopper there. I think a mini hopper is just fine. Wow, all that planning that I did, and it just comes out to nothing. But here we go. This thing should start pumping out the manufacturing plants any second. We should get one. I mean, I see it. I see it working. There we go. Got one. Where did it go? Oh, man. Well, this is a mess. Look. The lightweight machine housings ran out. So now this hopper is going to output down below. Yep, there they are. There's my thing, too. This should be add only, by the way. Not sure how it actually output anything. Wow, so how do I do this? Okay, I have an idea. And here's my idea. I'm gonna use this thing. The zipper merge. Guaranteed to combine two conveyor lines with 50% thingy. Uh, it says it flawlessly combines two conveyor lines in a one-to-one -one ratio. And, you know, so that's perfect. And going further, it even says, it even says right here in the help page, it's most useful for automating things that need an even amount of two items. Well, guess what? This thing, let's get over to it. This thing needs an even amount of three items. Uh, there's not really we can do, there's not really anything we can do about that, but we can use it for two inputs and essentially turn two inputs into just one input, which is what I'm going to do. So that's a good thing, right? So let's take that out and we'll put the priority, the zipper merge, not priority, right there. Copper wire, perfect. This won't go in because it's not ready to accept from that direction. Let me take this copper wire and we'll just feed that back onto the line, um, back a little further up. Let's see, uh, I gotta take these servos. We'll feed those back into at some point. So then let's put those there. So the lightweight machine housings are going in perfectly. And then let's move this over and let's see how this thing works. Oh, <gasps> look at that guaranteed 50% ratio. It's beautiful. Keeping them perfectly even. And guys, that's how you turn two conveyor lines into just one conveyor line. I wonder if I could do the same thing over here with the alloyed machine block assembler. Hmm. Not sure. I mean, I, I probably could. Alright, so I realized um, a couple episodes back we made the crystal clock lift, which is right over there. Uh, you can see the output back onto the bus. And the other day, <laughs> I realized that I never actually automated what I said I was going to automate and what the title of the video alluded to me automating. So I think it's probably about time that we did something about that and automated them. So what I was going to automate is the solar panels, right? Obviously, because I said this is going to 
give me unlimited power or something like that. Now, it takes these inputs, and you might be saying, hey, Dread, you already got 37. Uh, by the way, I got them from above the big battery bank that I had above the uh, central power hub. I, you know, I kind of figured, like, that whole system that I built up there, it really doesn't help me, like, pretty much at all. And I think I'll, I'll, I'll leave the batteries up there since I'm about to automate all of this stuff, but... The solar panels, I, I could really make use of those elsewhere. So I just took all the solar panels down. Uh, I've also broken all the turrets because it didn't really help. But anyway, we're going to automate these solar panels because I'm probably going to end up using more than 37 of them. Also, I broke these doors. They were annoying me. They're probably annoying you. And now we don't have to worry about it anymore. So let's see. I think if I break the wall right here, there's four. Hopefully there's no outputs already. Uh, yeah, no outputs. Nice. Good. Good, good, good. Okay, so. We need the lithium coils, gold foil, more gears, and crystal clocks. So... There's gears, lithium coils... This is gold foil, and then the crystal clock, yeah, dig down two, 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 cool. Now we'll just dig this all out. I got you guys, didn't I? I'm not going to make you watch me dig again. Uh, I can only imagine. It was probably boring the first time, so I didn't want to make you watch me do it again. But I will make you watch me put conveyors down, because that's, you know... You'll, you'll be doing a lot of that in this game, so I figure you should get used to it. There we go. Okay, now just run over here. Build to me. Okay. Should probably put down some windows here. There we go. Connect those up. Ah, you know what? Yeah, that's gonna bother me. So, do I have windows already on my thing? Yes, I do. Okay. Am I out of pace? No. Okay. Yeah, so, unfortunately, I can't see the items, but at least I can walk now without having to jump over them. Okay, now we'll just do the same deal as before. We'll put our splitters in. Let's put that one first. Hey, what the? Okay. Uh, there we go. The last one. Go here. And my alloy machine blocks are actually starting to build up really nicely. But it looks like I'm finally out of nickel. That's a problem. So I'm, I am actually going to have to bring up nickel one day. Maybe, that, maybe that'll be something for next episode. Go. Passing through the crystal clocks. Okay. Uh, yep. Yeah. Ooh, like that. Okay. There we go. Okay, that should be all of our inputs. Let's see, what do I need? Um, can I make use of that trick again? Looks like I can. Got iron gears and charged lithium coils. So let's go get one of those zipper merges. I think that's what they're called. Let's fill in that walkway. I've been falling down in that hole for far too long. Okay. Oh, you know what? Why am I running away? I can build a zipper merge from right here. Uh, all it costs is some conveyor belts. There it is. 25 of them. I guess that is kind of a lot. And let's window that up too, and I guess the slime... Oh, he didn't get trapped. Too bad. Can I actually just... Let's go over like that. Nice! See, this is what I wanted. I wanted to be able to see the parts flowing like underneath the floor. But I think I'm gonna have to change where the controller is to do something like that. 
All right, so let's see. How are we going to do this? Let's put down the thingy right there. And then what are we trying to make? Solar panels. Okay, so charge lithium coils, iron gears. Conveniently, those are already right next to each other. So that is actually pretty convenient. Now, let's see. The way we'll handle this, do it like that. Okay. Those can go in there. And then this. Perfect. Perfect split. We'll put down one of those. This is going to be remove only. All right. Yeah. So I, I looked at the other one, and this is actually a, a perfect split. It's actually pretty awesome, guys. Okay, so now we need gold foil and crystal clocks. Maybe I should bring this one down, too, like the other one. That was actually pretty cool. So gold foil needs 10. I'll bring the gold foil down. Logistics hot. There we go. This shack should be remove only. And then here's where I'll do the outputs. That's add only. Alright. Okay. This is facing the wrong way. Where's that other one? Here it is. Okay. There we go. We are hopefully that thing plays nicely and then we'll just take our crystal clocks and go right in there okay. go solar panels start automation Let's see it I want to see it work it's working oh man oh yeah this is exciting So I'm just going to do one, just to make sure it works, and then I'm going to drop off all these solar panels in the mini hopper. Almost there. Almost there, we got it. Yeah, we got it. Alright, where's the solar panels now? Mm. Solar panels, there we go. Okay, cool. There we go, we did it guys. We actually automated the thing I said I was going to automate previously. Alright, now, what are we going to do next? I guess I should probably figure that out. Alright, I figured out what we're going to do next. I was running over here and I noticed that both my titanium and my nickel are actually empty and I've just, I've been having to add materials to the bus manually with these storage hoppers, but no more, I say. I don't want to do that anymore. So, I need to build some lifts. Now, I don't know where my auto excavator is. I know I know I had one. No idea where it went, so I looked all over. I'm just going to make a new one. Crafting. There we go. Um, so let's go down, because I want to show you guys something in the chilled cavern. I don't think I've actually shown this on camera. So this is going to be cool, guys. This is going to be pretty sweet, I think. I think you'll enjoy it. Okay, and let's unveil. Here it is. Here it is, guys. This is my auto re recombined organic matter maker with everything. It's got the auto organic thief, two cryo hoppers, one organic reassembler. This thing is power hungry. It takes 64 power per second. It's ridiculous. This also takes power. Both of these cryo hoppers take power. They do take a lot less power though since I put them in the chilled cavern. And you'll notice I have a Mark II running with a ruby lens, giving me a total of 100 power per second. Yeah, I think that's right. So 100 power per second is good. And look, these things, they don't spoil. They just, they all get recombined, which is good. So let's jump in here because I got a lot of junk that I want to get rid of. Um, I'm never going to get rid of it all, I think. <laughs> there we go. So that's full. That's full. And it's going to make organic matter. Recombined organic matter out of all of those. 
All right. So let's get back down to the... Well, let's stop at this level. It says Golden Titanium. So the Titanium was over that way, and as you can see, there's definitely no more Titanium coming. Well, let's go down to the Nickel Vein, then. I don't want to deal with that right now. I will be dealing with that, just not right now. Okay, so here's my nickel vein. First of all, I mean, do we even have enough in here to make it worth it? Oh, okay. We do. We do have enough in here to make it worth it, guys. So let's, uh, let's open this up a little bit. Let's try to see what we're working with here. Should have brought a work for excavator. Don't have one of those. Or do I? I do have one. Okay, then we'll be right back. You know guys, by some twist of fate, I just happened to find my other auto excavator and it, it, it just turns out that it's right next to a titanium vein. Uh, I don't even really remember doing this. So I must have been uh, in like a, a fugue state when this happened. But uh, yeah, I guess, I guess I got it. So... I should probably get this ready for a lift, but I'm really not sure, like, does this go all the way up to the surface? That would be nice if it did. Oh no, there's coal. That's going to be a problem. Let's see, anything else in here? Don't fall in the coal. Okay, look, we're all the way up at the surface. Okay, and uh, wow, just like a couple blocks of coal and that's it? That's, that's not too bad. All right, but where am I? Oh look, there's another lift right here. This must go to the crystal caverns. This must be where my clocks are. Um coming out. Alright, well, let's go back down to the ground. See, this is good. Uh, the only thing I'm not sure of is how I'm going to get power over here. I was thinking maybe solar panels, pushing lasers, pushing power with lasers into the lift. Or maybe I'll just use Falcors with coal. I'm not sure. I'm going to think about it. But for now, I'm going to fall down, hopefully not hit this coal, and also hopefully not die. Uh-oh. Okay, good. <laughs> we skipped the cavern. We skipped the chilled cavern where we lose our grappling capability. Alright, so... It looks like I've set up the store chopper already. This is where I want to offload... Uh, so let's put a power storage block right there. Do I have excavators in my inventory? I do. There we go. I have ten of them for some reason. Do I have a drill? I do have a drill. Even better. Okay, so this is this can now all go. Don't need that anymore. Uh, I guess I could leave. I guess I could leave that like that. You know what? I shouldn't remove this, right? Because I need to... I still need to see where this goes. Alright guys, I was looking at the footage and it seems like I've actually recorded enough to make this episode pretty long. Um, unfortunately, I do have to cut the episode here. So, I, I, as I leave you guys with me digging this great tunnel, um, I hope you guys have really enjoyed this episode. Um, we will definitely be automating the nickel and the tin using lifts. I'll figure it out somehow, some way. Um, so make sure you guys give this episode a like if you liked it. Um, and subscribe if you are not subscribed and you want to see more Fortress Craft Evolved. We're coming up really close to the end of the main game now. 
and afterwards we will move into Frozen Factory. Once again, so sorry that I had the stream stuff on for most of the video. I'll try to be more careful about that next time. So don't forget to hit like if you guys enjoyed this episode, and I hope to catch you guys in the next one.